Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another wonderful nighttime episode. Tonight is a very special collaboration. We are doing the Earth Day Vitamin C collaboration with a bunch of awesome YouTube artists that I consider very, very good friends. We've got Karen Dershin, we've got Sarah Mack, we've got Kathleen Osmore, myself, uh, Nate Bright Art, Brian's Upper Valley Artistry, Garrick Brown, and the Massey Boys. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, I'm so excited and honored to be part of this group. Earth Day is actually one of my personal favorite holidays. I, as a gardener, as someone who loves succulents and loves to be outdoors, uh, Earth Day is very special to me. And also I have two little girls who, <laughs> it's very special to them too as well. So we always try to do something nice for Earth Day. Uh, plant a tree, donate to some society that helps out the Earth. Earth Day is a project that is concerned with environmental issues and keeping the Earth healthy and clean for us and generations to come. So uh, let's get started. One of the things we are going to be doing tonight is working obviously with some earthy colors. <laughs> I thought Nate was so clever in the name vitamin C because it actually if you think about the ocean how it's so important to our earth and how it actually helps clean our atmosphere. I'm gonna link some links for you guys at the end where you can get some more information about Earth Day and you can find some places that really, really do a lot to help Mother Earth. And you know, if you wanna be a part of that, that's amazing. So let's get started with our colors. These are actually some of the colors that I had from a pour we did a couple of weeks ago called Edge of Madness, which was really, really beautiful and I loved it. And it was kind of a, it was a two-step pour. We did a perimeter pour that we blew out with our leaf blower and we did um, a pour in the center. That was really, really cool. So tonight I wanna kind of play with that concept again and I will show you the colors that I'm using. The first one we have is Golden's Payne's Gray, which is such a beautiful, deep, gorgeous color. Not thick tonight, pretty thin, just barely leaving a mound and then sinking into itself right away. Okay, so that's our Golden's Payne's Gray. Then we are using uh, Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in Emerald Green, which is just such a pretty color. And the way that it, it dries so sparkly, just, uh, just amazing. I've loved this color since it, we did Gorgon's Grotto. You remember that one? That was like the first time we used <laughs> multiple cameras. It was pretty crazy. I'll that was nuts. Uh, I'll link Organs Grotto for you guys up here too. It was a lot of fun. Then we have our Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Beautiful stuff. All of these paints are mixed with mixed pour. Um, you can get your own mixed pour by emailing Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com and she will hook you up. Um, the gold, however, was left over from a different pour where I believe this was Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol and a little bit of mix in there today. So, really cool stuff. Beautiful color, Deco Art Americana Decor 24 Karat Gold. Deco Art is also one of our sponsors for the Fluid Art Boutique, which will be happening very soon, HOA. Are you getting excited? Nope, it's gonna be fab. <laughs> oh! May 3rd, 4th, and 5th in Sterling, Virginia, in the Washington, D.C. area. We're doing the Fluid Art Boutique. Sarah Mack, Karen Dershin, Kathleen Osmore from Cause Creations and myself are putting on three days of classes. They're gonna be three hour classes. We're having two a day. I'm teaching wandering straight pours and ring pours and we will be doing a super fun stencil using this little piggy pigments and Liquitex gel gloss, this stuff. And uh, they are so pretty, you guys. And I'm just, I'm having so much fun with them. I've been actually varnishing some of them to bring with me to Fluid Art Boutique. I'll just show you this one because it's already dry. This was our heart flower that we did. And it's just so pretty. Just that. This little piggy pigments in there in Lagoon, I think, and Sapphire against that black background. It just, this one glows. And they're just, uh, they're so much fun. And I've loved reading your comments. I really have. A lot of you have said, you know, you've had issues or, or physical problems and you couldn't actually pour anymore, but you've started to play with the stencils and the, this little piggy pigments and they're just, it's so much fun. And I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying creating again. It's awesome. I love to hear that. So, okay, back to the colors. Squirrel, what do we got next? We have our turquoise. This is probably one of my favorite colors ever. This is Golden's Turquoise Thalo. Yeah, just, just beautiful. Again, 
just barely leaving a mound before it sinks into itself. This is pretty thin paint for me, but I'm really enjoying challenging myself and using my leaf blower. I have never really been into Dutch pours or blowouts before. I've done some with the, the leaf blower. We call them gardener's pours. I actually have a playlist of those. Uh, but thin paint has never really been my thing. So for some reason right now, using the leaf blower with this thinner consistency has just been really kind of igniting my passion again for, for color and like watching the paint move when it's, when it's being blown out is really, really beautiful. So that's our turquoise. Then what else do we have? We have Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with an itty bitty little tiny bit of the Satin Enamels in Pure White. Okay. All right, so game plan. What I wanna do tonight, I wanna continue to play with that perimeter blowout feeling, but I would like to sort of incorporate a kind of oceany vibe with maybe with the way that we use the leaf blower. So what we're going to do is we're going to dirty layer a cup and then on the very top of the cup, which is what's going to come out first, I'm going to put a layer of a flow extender and have that actually come out first. And then with the intention of being able maybe to blow out the edge of the straight pour. So this was my flow extender fabric. This was drips that I've scraped off my table that I've had for a while and I had a lid on it and it's still perfectly good. So this is going to be the last layer on the top of my cup. So it comes out first. So it acts as a flow extender for everything else. Okay. Whew. Okay. We're going to use our Payne's gray and we're going to put a layer in there. Okay. So dirty pouring your cup versus layering your cup. Dirty pouring means you take your first color and then you take your second color and you pour it from up high with the intention of having it sink into the center of that first puddle, like so. For a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas like that one is, we actually need 16 ounces of paint. To find out how much paint you need, you multiply length times the width of your canvas, and then you divide by 28, and that gives you how many ounces you need. For this size, it's about 16 ounces of paint needed, and this is a 16 ounce cup. Okay, some of our emerald green. And let's put a little bit more gold in there. And I love dirty cups with straight pours. There, it's just this magical primordial ooze kind of. <laughs> that you're never really sure what exactly is gonna happen, but usually it's pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna do one more shot of white. Okay, all right, now, I think I want a little bit of gold in there too. All right, now we're going to use that flow extender color and I'm just going to pour that on top. I don't necessarily want this to sink, but I want that to come out first. I may even pour some of that in a puddle in the middle. I think I am going to do that actually. Wow, that's such a pretty cup. I love those colors. All right. These colors are totally... Did you tell happy. us about the canvas? Oh! I have taped and pinned this canvas and painted my sides and edges. Actually, I painted them with Prussian blue instead of the sapphire, instead of the turquoise or the paints, because it's a little bit more oceany and we'll see what's going to happen. Okay, so we're going to pour a puddle of gold to begin with. And we do that for two reasons. First, we want to give our paint something to slide on. Second of all, as this gets thinned out and the paint on top of it gets thinned out, we have the potential for little gold cells to pop up here and there. Okay, so now we're gonna put some of this flow extender color in the center of that. And we're gonna pour our cup into that. That's so pretty already. Okay, so let's make sure we're lined up right there. Hey, Joey, we're gonna go right in the middle. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lass, I am ready. Here we go, we're gonna pour this from up high and staying in the same place. Here we go. We might go down a little bit and introduce a little bit of a twist or a curve. Okay. Just like that. Okay. All right, that's looking pretty neat. 
That's really pretty. I love all these colors. Okay, I'm going to use this. So I think I'm going to go around it with the panes once. Just because I want a darker background than that really light turquoise. this light turquoise flow extender color to kind of fill in this gaps around the edges. And again, the reason we use a flow extender is to allow our paint to have something to slide around on. If our canvas is dry, as this moves, it's gonna roll over itself, kind of eat the, the composition. And by using a flow extender, we don't allow that to happen. All right, let's torch this. Got these beautiful cells already. Okay. I think I'm going to spread this out with my spatula first before we do any blowing. probably gonna lose most of this and that's fine with me. I like the color a lot. I just I want the other colors for our Earth Day vitamin C pour. HOA, did you know that Earth Day is the most celebrated non-religious holiday in the world? Really? Really? Global. I thought that was pretty cool. Well I mean it makes sense if you think about it. We all live on this planet. <laughs> Okay. All right, that's looking pretty good. The only thing I'm not crazy about is the center, actually. All right, let's see. We're gonna stretch this out just a little bit because I wanna bring this down. And open it up. I'm gonna go to the different corners just a little bit and then bring it back. And as we stretch it out, I'm looking at it to see which parts do I like the most, which parts do I like the least. I'm not real crazy about some of that. We're gonna take some of that off. Come back to the center again, and we're gonna go down that, that corner a little bit more. And bring it back. the center for some reason. <laughs> it's bugging me. I think I'm just going to pour what's left in my cup right here in the middle. That was probably a mistake because it got a little muddy there. Okay. That's okay. I like that better anyway. But I might just take my finger and just incorporate this. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now, let's take the leaf blower. This is a Makita cordless leaf blower with a progressive trigger. And what that means is the harder you squeeze the trigger, the harder the air comes out. The softer, you, gentler you squeeze the trigger, the more gently the air comes out, which I love. I think that's so cool. Okay, we're gonna go over here-ish and just kind of blow this last perimeter layer out. Ready, Joy? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. I think I want just a little bit more pins gray over here. And then I want a little bit more emerald too. Maybe a tiny bit of the turquoise. Okay, let's pull that one more time. Ready? Mm -hmm. I 
like that we have more color in there now and I like that there's more opacity covering that corner. Let's go over here. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of paint on here. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of this part off by tilting. And I'm going to come back to the center. And I'm going to go down this way and take a little bit of this part off. I'm still going to blow out some of those rings. I just wanted to get a little bit of the extra paint off of there. I'll take some of this corner off too. That's really pretty. This is bothering me. It's kind of fun. Finger painting. <laughs> Always goes to finger painting. I like finger painting. I know. It looks cool too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to take some of that paints again and I'm just going to kind of follow the natural lines that are there. Because I do want to blow out this edge. I love the way that that looks. And I don't want it to be this sort of murky turquoise. I want more contrast there. Okay. So we're going to turn this this way. So you can see right there, yeah. Start. Actually, I'm going to start over here. Okay. Here we go. this a lot more than I like that. So we're going to do the same thing again. I'm going to change up the order just a little bit. Put some emerald on. Put a little bit of gold on there. And some more of the panes. Just a smidge of white. Let's start over here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Do you like the white in there? Um, I kind of do. Yeah, I do. You don't sound convinced. <laughs> um, I can't see it. Right? I was just thinking this one. I was trying to decide if there was balance on the other side. I kind of want to put some more white on this side because I'm not real crazy about yeah, that. Yeah, that would help balance it out. Okay. In the opposite corner too. Yeah. So I'm 
things. So since we have a lot of turquoise on this already, I'm not actually adding more when I want to blow it out because I don't want more of that mid-tone turquoise. I want the contrast. Okay, let's start over here. Mm -hmm. Here we go. We might go over this one one more time too. I don't know. <laughs> this is so much fun, you guys. I, I'm like loving this perimeter stuff and fixing the corners and edges because I've always felt like I love the centers of my pores and the ring pores, but then sometimes I feel like I stretch them out a little bit and then I get kind of nothing all on the edges and the corners. So I'm really happy that. I found a way to make stuff happen on the edges and corners. Can you usually hit the white a little bit more? You think so? Yeah, because you want to balance up the other side. There you go. Okay. Here we go. That's really cool looking. Yep. The center's kind of irritating me, but that's okay. You think I think we need a little bit more panes through here. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's pretty cool. Only thing I'm not crazy about is very, very center. If you pour something for the tiny bit. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm just going to take like a tiny bit of white and stick it in the cup that I used. Maybe a bit more paint. I think that looks really neat. me through the pour. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. 
I like this a lot. I think that looks very oceany, very earthy. I really like that combination of the straight pour effects. I'm gonna wipe my hands up again. The straight pour effects that we're getting with those really pretty cells popping up on that darker background. I really like these bolder cells that we're getting in there. And I love the fact that we've managed to control the outer corners and the perimeter and add color and a nice composition. I think it looks really cool. So this is our vitamin C Earth Day collaboration with Nate Bright Art and Brian's Upper Valley Artistry and Kathleen Osmore, Sarah Mack, Karen Dershin, myself, the Massey Boys, and Garrett Brown. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy all of the videos because they've been awesome. So thank you so much for being here with us tonight. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Earth Day. We'll see you real soon. our dried results of our Earth Day Vitamin C collaboration pour. This was our dirty cup straight pour perimeter <laughs> blown out edges. Looks really really cool. Those pot colors are just amazing. That emerald green and the Payne's gray and the turquoise and the white and the gold. And I'm loving the corners where we blew it out. Very very cool stuff. Boulder cells in there. I'm glad that we fixed. Hello, bird. Oh, it's a little hummingbird. Hi. Oh, there's two of them. They seem to be fighting. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, back to the painting. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's Earth Day, right? Um, I'm loving the edges where we blew it out. It's so pretty. I like that we went in and we added a little bit more as needed to blow out. This part is just beautiful. I wanted to show you guys this one in the sun, but it looks like it's about to start raining. <laughs> Which I guess is a good thing all in all. Anyways, thank you guys so much for being here with us today. I hope you guys have enjoyed all of the beautiful paintings that you've seen up to this point. I hope you will check out the ones after me. I will list everybody for you at the end of the video and in the description box. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Earth Day. I will have some links for you guys for more information about Earth Day, as well as some awesome organizations that you can donate to if you're interested to help save the Earth. <laughs> Thanks for being here, guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.